Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. It's a throwback Thursday. And we're throwing it back 30 years. I'm excited about this one. Tonight, NFL season starts. Kickoff for the 23-24 season. So, why not look back at 93-94 in our throwback Thursday. Oh yeah, we got Skybox here. Skybox Premium NFL. Oh man, 30 years in the making, waiting for this video to take place. I think it's pretty cool because on the front of this box, it actually tells us what box number it is out of how many they made. That's pretty cool to me. 100,000 boxes. There's 36 packs in a box. There's 10 cards in a pack. My concern is that in 30 years, these have all become bricks. But there's only one way to find out. So let's go ahead and find out. Yes. So 93, 94, you got Jim Kelly, you got Randall Cunningham up there, Lawrence Taylor. I mean, big names, Hall of Famers. Pretty crazy. Ooh, this is how packaging used to be. All right. I honestly don't, don't know if I have this whole set or not. So this is really going to be fun as long as I don't think, I don't think they're bricked. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I've had this pack for about a year now. Um, not specifically with this in mind, but it kind of was. I was like, this would be a great throwback Thursday next year. I actually got a 92, 93 box of tops to do a throwback with and forgot. <laughs> Oh, that'll happen, right? All right. So, 23-24 season is upon us. We're looking back at 93-94 NL Football Collector Card Skybox Premium. Oh, I wish we still had Skybox. I mean, I know. Upper Deck kind of brought back Skybox with uh, the metal. It's not the same. It's really not. It was so amazing back in the 90s when you had so many different brands that had licensing and could compete. All right. Uh, breaking. No. A little. A little bit of sticking, but not, not really bricking. So here we go. So these are the common uh, common cards. Common base. Pretty cool. You got your draft picks. Nice. Okay. It is part of the set. It is not an insert. So with this, you had the lines going up and down. You have diagonal. I think there's a cross somewhere. Uh, we'll see that. Floyd Turner. Okay. Another pick. John Copeland. Okay. I mean, I like the fact that they actually put the team on the card for the pick. All right. Dwight Stone there. Kostoskos Brothers. Okay, so this is a checklist for, I believe, these, which is more like a poster. Yes. So we got the checklist. Nice. There's 10 of the brothers, uh, uh, like posters, there's thunder and lightning. That's a insert set and primetime rookies. So this is the, um, checklist for the insert cards. Nice. Run and gun, Steve young. All right. Put that checklist to the side. I'm going to do this just in case on each one of these, it's a throwback Thursday with throwbacks. You got to be ready for uh, you know, some bricking or some sticking. All right, we got Chris Miller. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, just kind of pull them apart. 
Nice. Nothing really there. All right. Chris Miller. Browning Nagel. Willie Davis. Patrick Bates. There you go. With the Raiders draft pick. Terrell, uh, Daryl Talley. Jerry Rice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Emmett Smith following up Jerry Rice. That's nice. Willie Galt and Reggie Cobb. Wow. Quite the pack there with uh, Emmett and Jerry. Sweet. It's 93-94. Loving it. Early 90s. Football. I mean, you had the Bills going to the Super Bowl uh, four times in a row to lose it four times in a row. But come on. They made it there four times. That's crazy. Um, all right. So checklist. Boom. You've actually got it broken down by team. Nice. Eric Curry, pick number six. Cornelius Bennett with those bills I was just talking about. You know, the Cowboys and the Niners, they'd be going back and forth in the NFC. Uh, Redskins were in there. The Giants were in there for the uh, Super Bowl. Rod Woodson. Coleman Rudolph draft pick, Marion Butts, Mark Rippon. Here we go. Thunder and Lightning. Boom. Hayward Jeffries and the man, Warren Moon. Nice. And then we got another one of those. Uh, who was it? Costacos Brothers. Jerry Rice, NFL all-time touchdown reception leader. Nice, 101, 1992. The Thunder and Lightning cards, those are awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, I can't, I hope I can get as many of them. How many is there, 10 of them? Thunder and Lightning, nine. Nine of them. Yeah, let's go. Let's find them. <laughs> All right. Tommy Maddox, uh, backup extraordinaire, Joe Montana, Tom Rathman. We're talking big names here. LT Lawrence Taylor. Dan Marino had all the records in the world. Until Tom Brady and Drew Brees. <laughs> Warren Moon, he would have had all the records in the world if you add up the CFL numbers. Woo. Yeah, he could run, he could throw, he could survey the field. Man. Folks don't know about Warren Moon. He was ridiculously talented. Steve Jordan. Willie Rofe. Hall of Famer. Pick number eight. We got his draft card. Sweet. Steve Young. Steve Atwater, Barry Foster, Willie Anderson. All right, let's move those down. Let's move those down. We're going to need a second or third stack of the base cards. Very excited to take a look at that base. All right. Casa Brothers over there. We'll have three stacks of base. Boom. Happy Thursday. It's a throwback Thursday. One. It is Friday Eve. It is the weekend Eve Eve. <laughs> and we're opening up 30-year-old packs of Skybox football cards. Loving it. Stevens. Andre Risen. Oh, yeah. Legendary athletes, legendary players. Nice. Irving Fryer, John Elway, and Cleveland Gary. I'm just saying names that I remember. I mean, it's been 30 years ago. I was a kid, 12 years old, and this season started. Running over the card shops down the road. Not there anymore, sadly. Courtney Hawkins, they kind of fell apart. Yeah. Late 90s. Hey, draft pick, Carl Simpson. Um, 
Yeah. Sacramento, we went from having, geez, like nine card shops to having two, three, maybe. All right. Charles Haley. Um, yeah. George Teague. Rookie. Nice. Thunder and Lightning. Steve Young. Jerry Rice. Woo. Okay. And the Art of Receiving Hall of Famer, Art Monk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we've gotten some Thunder and Lightning. We've gotten uh, the Costaco brothers. Have not seen any primetime rookies yet. Patrick Bates, Drew Bledsoe, Darren Gordon, Garrison Hurst. Marvin Jones, Terry Kirby, Natron Means, Rick Meyer, and Willie Rofe. All right. Irv Smith. Barry Sanders. Here you go. Yeah. Chris Carter. Okay. Steve Berline. Andre Reed. Man. Okay, another Andre Ryzen. So we're going to get some doubles. I think the set is... Is a 250 card set plus the inserts. Uh, 257, so maybe a 300 card set. And uh, there's 360 cards in the box. We're bound to have some doubles. And if you're going to get a double, might as well be Andre Risen, one of the top uh, receivers of the early 90s. Yeah, all right, here we go. Trace Armstrong, Nick Bell, Mike Pritchard, yeah. Calvin Williams, what do we got? Merrill Hodge, some of you guys know him from um, TV. Oh, speaking of being from TV, Michael, Hall of Famer, Strahan, rookie card. Oh, yeah. Rodney Pete, Troy Aikman, Hall of Famer. I'm not completely up to date on all the football Hall of Famers, but I'll try to keep up. I'll try to mention the ones that I can remember. Uh, NFL, their Hall of Fame, I like how they do it. They actually have other players come through and fight for them. Speaking of Hall of Famer, Reggie White. Boom. Yeah. So as you can hear, there is a little bit of sticking. Um, but uh, this type of staking, it's not an issue. Marvin Jones, the number four pick out of Florida State. Dan McGuire, yes, Mark McGuire's brother, Derek Thomas. Dude changed how defenses were played. Teams had to uh, game plan just around stopping Derek Thomas. Tragic end, but uh, yeah, man, was he a, a beast when he played. All right, Thurman Thomas, Hall of Famer. Jerome Bettis. Boom, the bus, rookie card. Woo! <laughs> yes. How is he not on the primetime rookies list? That's my question. You got Rick Meyer up there, but not Jerome Bettis, the number 10 pick out of uh, Notre Dame? Somebody fell asleep at the wheel on that one. Just saying. Tom Waddle, Jeff Hostetler, one good uh, Super Bowl run. Got him a big old contract with Oakland. It's amazing what some owners will pay for one good game. <laughs> Sterling Sharp. Nice. Bruce Smith, Hall of Famer. I can't remember if Sterling Sharp is a Hall of Famer or not. I think he cut his career short. He was concerned about injuries, as he should, as any football player should be. All right, another Dan McGuire, another Derek Thomas. Okay, I'm all right with that. And there we go. So, yeah, we're going to have some doubles. Probably not going to be able to finish the set. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm seeing. 
that's okay. Just means I got to go searching for another box. And we'll do another Throwback Thursday with it. Ooh, Barry Sanders, Gestaco Brothers, boom, Roaring 20. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Curtis Conway, uh, Chicago draft pick. Yes. All right. Jeff Graham. Phil Sims got injured to make it to where Jeff Hostetler could have that one good game. I guess he had a couple of good games. But when it's a Super Bowl you're having a good game with? Yeah. Brett Farver. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Garrison Hurst out of Georgia, I believe. Yep. Yeah. All right. Woo! Throwback Thursday. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and follow Boss Man Sports Cards. We're over here on YouTube. We're out on Facebook. We're on Instagram. How about TikTok? Yeah, Spotify. Give us a look around. We're about to start up a new podcast, Gina and I. Uh, ballpark scene. Hall of Famer, Deion Sanders. We had Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott there. Yeah, ballpark scene. So you guys know Gina and I, we go to a bunch of different ballparks, see a di bunch of different uh, games, all the minor league and major league levels. Well, we're actually going to start talking about it. We're not just going to show you on our game day Wednesday videos. We're going to start talking about the things that we see, the things that we like, the things that can get improved. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're not sure if we're going to do it. We got another Charles Haley um via video or if we're gonna do it just audio on spotify might do both tim brown hall of famer there lots of hall of famers this is a great era of football the number one pick and crimped down at the bottom drew bledsoe the man who had to get out of the way of tom brady dan marino and keith jackson thunder and lightning. Nice. Barry Foster. Whoa, we got two of them. Nice. We're going to finish that set. Yeah, we are. Barry Foster and the Doomsday Afternoon Dallas Cowboy defense. Yikes. They were big and tough. The offensive line was even tougher. I mean, Jerry Jones knew what he was doing before everybody else. He would get the heaviest offensive lineman around and heaviest and most experienced. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense in today's game, but back then it was tougher to re uh, to realize that Rodney Holman, Leslie O'Neill. Okay. Ricky Prohl, Herman Moore. Nice. Let's say we're about a third of the way in. I think that's about 12 packs worth. Nice. Hey, 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 we got another Barry Sanders. Gestaco Brothers. Natron Means. Draft pick. Nice. Pick number 41. Yeah. Marcus Allen, Hall of Famer. Lorenzen Wright. Stan Humphreys. How about a Robert Smith? Oh, the Vikings had so much uh, hope and want in him out of the Ohio State. John Taylor, Sakema, and Todd Kelly, number 27 pick, Niners. Boomer, Boomer Esiason. We got another Roaring Twenties. I'm going to have to see if my buddy uh, Shannon has uh, that card. He's a huge Barry Sanders fan. Got a whole wall, like, dedicated to him in his man cave. It's an awesome man cave. The other four walls are dedicated to the Steel Curtain. <laughs> Steve Broussard. Jim Harbaugh, back when he was playing, not just coaching. John L. Williams. Jim Kelly, Hall of Famer. Maddox, we were talking about him being backup extraordinaire. Joe Montana on his way over to Kansas City. Just didn't seem right seeing him in that uniform. It's funny. Lawrence Taylor there. Yeah, we're definitely getting doubles. Might might have problems fi uh, finishing the set at this point. 
Um, it's funny how NFL players sometimes, and I guess all athletes, they just can't step away. I mean, you've been doing the same thing your whole life since you were a kid, and all of a sudden you got to stop? No, that doesn't feel right. John Elway. So you take what you can get and you go play somewhere else. Aaron Rodgers this year. Um, I mean, he's still in, he's still going to be green, but it's not green and gold. We'll see. We got another Willie Rolf, another Hall of Fame draft pick card. Loving it. Throwback Thursday. Here, Boss Man Sports Cards. Tonight is the opening night NFL. All right, we got an Art Monk. Yes, Art of Receiving. Got that one again. How about it? We talked about not having any primetime rookies yet, and here it is. Chris Mortensen, primetime rookie, the number one pick, Drew Bledsoe. Charles Haley. Yeah, tonight, opening night of the NFL season. I think it's the Lions at the Chiefs. Tim Brown, Hall of Famer. Oh, George Teague, that's a draft pick card. We've already seen it once, but we'll grab it again. Drew Bledsoe, the number one pick. Not a bad career. Don't get me wrong. Um... Like seven all pro seasons or uh, pro bowls, like four pro, all pro seasons, four all pro, seven pro bowls. Um, took the Patriots to a Super Bowl, um, lost against uh... all right, Steve Everett, rookie draft card. We got another checklist. Um, then he got hurt. And then the almost Mr. Irrelevant stepped up. Big time, prime time, Deion Sanders. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> ah, having his way with the uh, big clubs in uh, college football. One and O oh so far. All right. But yeah, tonight. Chiefs, Lions, game one, 23-24 season. Uh, last year's champs, trying to do it again. We're getting a bunch of doubles here. Yeah, we are. Another Hall of Fame Jim Kelly card there. Uh, that one was a little bit of a, more of a pop than a snap, huh? Let's see. This one was at the top. Jim Kelly again. So that's three. Jerry Rice. Nice. Jim Emmett Smith. All right. I think that's the third one. Willie Galt. Reggie Cobb. Love those orange and white crimsical uniforms. I believe they're bringing them back this year for a special uh, couple of games. That's awesome. I think they're bringing back a couple, letting some teams do some throwback uniforms, being as we're here on Throwback Thursday, talking about throwback uniforms. I guess it was the issue of the helmet. Um, Barry Ward. Nice. Um, Roger Craig in a Vikings uniform just doesn't fit right, but it is what it is. Um, the Fridge. William Perry. Refrigerator Perry. Um... So with concussion protocols and things, they were Hall of Famer Cortez Kennedy. They made it to where you had to wear the same helmet all year long because then it'll fit properly around your head and protect you correctly. Well, that's all great, but then you can't do throwback games or throwback uniform games, which, I mean, yeah, you want to be more protected than anything. Garrison Hurst. Rookie card, there we go. Chuck Cecil, hard hitter. Dion Figures, out of Colorado. Pittsburgh, all right. 
I don't remember him. You would think you would remember some Dion's from the 90s. <laughs> Big Dan Williams. And the Rush Hour, Neil Smith and Derek Thomas. Nice. All right. What are we at? I think we're in the lower third or the last third of the box. I think we're under 12 packs now. Here we go. Barry Foster on the back. Troy Dayton. Nice. All right. Gaston Green. Have not seen these cards yet, so here we go. Brent Jones. My, oh, nope. I think we've seen Michael Irving. Thomas Smith with the Buffalo Bills. Dotson. Tommy Vardell. Steve Walsh. Ooh, yep. Thunder and Lightning. Have we seen? No, we have not. Jim Kelly. Andre Reed. Thurman Thomas, nice. Thunder and Lightning. Steel Wheels, Barry Foster. All right. Woo. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? I mean, wow. That is, like I said, the 90s with all the UV coating. Um, it's tough. It's tough to find a good pack from or box from the early 90s that isn't going to brick. Uh, we'll go through and we'll find what we can. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to scare me away from getting some, but uh, just got to be ready for that. Shannon Sharp, y'all know him from TV. Yeah, he was an actual football player. Tony McGee, pick number 37 from the Bengals. Mark Jackson there. Yep, so that's one of the dangers of getting uh, 90s boxes. Uh, they've been just sitting there. Uh, we had uh, Fleer 94, 95, I think, from a, uh, a throwback Thursday before, and it was just a brick. Uh, it, was, it was sad because it was <laughs> the hot pack was even worse. Uh, bless them for trying to do that. I mean, UV coating is great. I'm not seeing any uh, damage to the card, so they're just separating and popping. Nice. Cleveland Gary there. How about you? You got any 90s uh, cards still in a box? I hope you don't have anything sitting on them. Um, I mean, that's the worst. I've got a shop here uh, in Modesto that's got Skybox, or uh, not Skybox, um... Uh, top stadium club cards just sitting right on top of each other in a corner and i i cringe every time i see it it hurts my soul because i want to get them i want to see but then again i don't <laughs> plausible deniability uh. <laughs> all right so i got these from a different shop uh, i hope I hoped that they hadn't been sat on by other boxes. I'm going to say this was a pretty good one. Yeah. All right. Tim Brown. We've seen him three or four times now. Keith Jackson. Drew Bledsoe. For the third time, we got pick number one. All right. Curtis Duncan. We got another uh, checklist. Checklist. Check, please. Eric Curry. Pick number six out of Alabama. Cornelius Bennett and boom, Garrison Hurst, a primetime rookie. I mean, if you're going to get anybody from that list, Patrick Bates, Drew, uh, Drew Bledsoe, Darian Gordon, Garrison Hurst, Marvin Jones, Terry Kirby, Natron Means, Rick Meyer, Willie Rofe, and Dan Williams. If you're going to get any of them, I want those two plus the Willie Rofe. Don't really care for Rick Meyer. That was sad years in uh, Seattle. Um, <laughs> uh, Darren Gordon, honestly, I don't remember him from San Diego. Um, Patrick Bates, I remember the name. I don't think I remember him from the Raiders. Um, Terry Kirby, 
uh, from the Dolphins. I remember the name. I don't remember anything that he did. Um, Dan Williams, as far as I remember, was out of the league in two or three years. So, yeah. All right, John Vaughn there, Russell Maryland. Another high draft pick that kind of didn't amount, as far as I remember. I Growing up, I was a basketball kid. I would notice football stuff, but not really spend all that much time on it. I was more of, you know, dissecting the Washington Bullets and their... Uh, their backcourt with Rod Strickland or before that Michael Adams or uh, <laughs> things of that sort. Um, Spurs fan growing up, but I could talk any team of any year. I was that kind of a, uh, a student of basketball. Football, there was a lot of moving parts. I mean, I know Junior Seau uh, out of USC, all um all pro, pro bowler, defensive, just beast. Ended up going to New England, won a Super Bowl there after losing the one Super Bowl that he went to with San Diego to the San, uh, San Francisco 49ers. I remember some of those details. <laughs> Chris Dishman, like Chuck Cecil, I remember the name. He was a hard hitter, but I don't remember much else out of that. Okay, another Dion Figures. Harvey Williams. Yikes. This one doesn't want to let go. Let go. Let Terry Allen go. All right. Dan Williams, pick number 11. Defensive end. Out of Toledo. Toledo University. Prime time. Oh. All right. Down to the last four packs. Let's see what we can find. Can we find another Thunder and Lightning? Can we get another primetime rookie? That would be awesome. Let's find that Willie Rofe primetime rookie. Okay, Trace Armstrong, Mike Pritchard. There's someone behind Trace. Who are you hiding? Who are you blocking for? Nick Bell. <laughs> All right, Mike Pritchard, Calvin Williams, Merrill Hodge. Michael Strahan, I'll take that draft pick card. That's nice. That rookie card, Troy Aikman there, Rodney Hampton, and Tony Smith. All right, winding down. One more primetime, one more thunder and lightning. Come on, we can do this. Let's find the uh, Aikman Irvin. Thunder and Lightning. That would be awesome. Or Cunningham, Fred Barnett. Oh, yeah. Tom Carter, draft pick. Rookie card, rookie card. Ernest Dye. Okay. Well, these are different names. That bodes well for finding cards that we haven't found. O.J. McDuffie. I remember that name. Yeah. Vinny Testaverde. Marvin Jones, primetime rookie. Okay, well... I mean, it's not Willie Rofe, but it's a seminal. Yeah. <laughs> and a third art of receiving. All right. So three out of ten primetime rookies. That's not bad. That's not a bad number to get. We got four out of nine so far on Thunder and Lightning. We got Eric Bienemy on the back here. Okay, Ken Norton, Andre Waters, Pat Swilling, Johnny Johnson. I mean, these, uh, if we take a look at the back, so you got the name, you got the team, uh, the person info, you've got a rundown of the athlete or a little wrap up. And then I think up to four years, yeah, it looks like up to four years of stats. Nice. There's one of the horizon or horizontal uh, cards. And last but not least, what kind of last pack mojo do we got coming back from 1993? Back in the 1900s. 
30 years in the making, and we are opening up on this throwback Thursday. Curtis Conway, rookie card. Jeff Graham, Phil Sims behind him. Lynn Elliott. Leonard Renfro. Pick number 24. Okay, Rod Bernstein. Marco Coleman, Brett Favre. How about Junior Seau, the shock treatment? Chargers, electrical joke. Love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three primetime rookies. That's three out of ten. We got four thunder and lightnings. That's four out of nine. The Costaco brothers. There's ten of them. Yep. I'd say we probably got all of them. Uh, let's see. Prime time, world champs. Let's see. We'll just go to the back. We got CB10, CB5, 4, 6, 1, all right, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll put them in numerical order. Four, we got seven, nine, three, five. Already got those. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's find eight. Is it junior? Is it junior Seau? Number eight. Boom. The last card we pulled finished it for us. All right. There we go. We got all 10 Gestaco Brother uh, posters. Steel wheels. The art of receiving. Touchdown reception leader all time. Roaring 20s. Prime time. Shock treatment. Rush hour. And rod and gun. All right. 93-94 Skybox football. Loving it. That's awesome. All right. Might have to get another box if I can find it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you would like to see for a throwback Thursday. All right. Boss Man here. Boss Man Sports Cards. Enjoy the NFL season. Game number one. Lions at Chiefs. Boss Man out.